Hornby, I'm at the fort. There's some sort of planetarium here. It's incredible. The Mortons really dabbled in everything. Yeah, with one goal in mind. Jeremy Morton had it built. It has something to do with an Indian ritual. There's something here that looks like a control board. I'll try to get to it. Aline, I gotta admit, you're handling all of this incredibly well. Aline? Yes. I reached the circle of stones. Abcanis Stellas. This is the place. I'm sure this is where I have to carry out the ritual. The only thing I'm missing is the direction. Let me try and help you. Go to the North Stella and call me back if you find something carved into it. I'm at the North Stella, and there's something carved into the top. A single mark. Okay, that's exactly what I need. Could you be a bit clearer? Uh, I'd rather be sure for myself first. Go to the Southeast Stella and call me back. Aline, there are no marks on this Stella. Okay, West Stella. Are we going to go on much longer like this? Do you want to try out your incantation or not? That's what I'm here for. West Stella. Three marks. Good. Let me explain. I think that each of the markings correspond to a number. I'm in front of this control board. My idea is, if I enter the numbers, what with this being a planetarium, it should logically give me a direction. Hey, I trust you. So... Go to the Southwest Stella. Okay. Southwest Stella. One mark. Now we're getting somewhere. East Stella? I'm at the East Stella. Two marks. I'm starting to feel this isn't funny anymore. Spoil sport, we're nearly there. Northeast Stella. Nothing on the Northeast Stella. Okay. And now back to the Southeast Stella. What? I hope you're not pulling my leg here. If you don't want my help anymore. Okay, hey, don't get all touchy now. Southeast Stella. Nothing, obviously. Hang in there, Carnby. The Southwest Stella, and it's over. Southwest Stella. One mark. Okay, like I said, it's over. Carnby, you'll never believe me. But you know I believe every word you say. If I didn't get this wrong, that circle of stones of yours just gave us today's date. Uh-oh, that means... That tonight's the night the gate... Can be opened. Carnby, I don't feel so good. Now's not the time to give up. I still need a direction. Wait, I'm entering the date into the control board. It's incredible. Okay, the planets are lining up. Which way are they pointing? Well... Towards the east, I believe. Yes, that's it. Towards the east. Thanks. Don't you think we're in over our heads on this one? I've got no idea. All I know is I want us to get out of here alive, and you've got my word. We're gonna do it. I'd really love to believe you. Oh, 
Gulai Hyper Harness Corna Gulai Hyper Harness Corna Aline, it's Carnby. So, Mr. Witch Doctor, how about that ritual? Yeah, you won't be laughing when I tell you I recovered a statue and some kind of stone disc. A disc that's about 10 inches wide? That's right. I need it. We absolutely have to meet right away. Okay, I'll head for the fort. You come towards me. Gotcha. Stop jerking around. Let me try and get you out of here. Ugh, my legs. The radio is dead. Everything will be okay. Everything will be just fine. But the plane's sinking. I'm telling you, everything will be okay. I don't want to die. Hey, let go of me. Don't leave me here. Please, I beg you. I said let go of me. <sighs> go on. I'll never make it. Sure you will. I'm telling you. I'll never make it. Just promise me one thing. When you see Johnson, tell him something for me. Tell him his cover is blown.
I'm warning you. I won't hesitate to shoot. Aline? Carnby? You scared the daylights out of me. I almost shot you. Do I detect a regret? Stop kidding. Do you have the stone disc we talked about? And what will you give me in exchange? I see you're a real smooth talker, Carnby. Here, I found this. I have no idea what use it might be, but... That rings a bell. How are you getting on? I recovered the tablets, and I've got two statues. How about you? I'm still missing some things. You seem to have acquired a taste for our adventures. Get real. I just want to get out of here. And now? Now, I have to go back to the fort. Good luck. You too, Carnby.
nervous system made up of a dark and shiny mass about 15 inches long by 7 inches wide. Chaotic structure reacts directly to white light, contracting like a pupil. I'm taking all the samples needed to carry out a biochemical analysis. I already believe it possible to assert that the main elements composing it are zinc and beryllium. As for the others, I'm mainly interested in their central crystalline structure. It's that structure that I need to extract and inject. Who goes there? Alan, don't even think about it. I could have gotten rid of you a dozen times at least. But I'd rather you have a taste of darkness while you're still alive. When my friends are done with you, your body will still come in handy for me. <laughs> Aline, I just ran into Alan right in the middle of one of his macabre experiments. He was up to his elbows dissecting... I don't want to know what. <sighs> Horrible. But where are you? In an underground laboratory. It looks as though Alan's experiments require quite a bit of material. And corpses. Corpses? Human corpses? I don't know. He hightailed it out of there and cut off the power supply. I'm stuck here in the dark. I found a floor plan. I think it's the layout of the lab. Wait, there's an exit just next to the operating table. Okay, on my way. The doorway's blocked with metal bars. Alan must have set off an automatic locking system. Wait, the plan includes the layout for all the lab's power cables. It must show where the locking mechanism is. Thanks, Aline. You're a lifesaver. Try not to make a habit out of it. Wait, I've got a problem. What? The locking mechanism is outside of the lab. Aline, we have to find a solution. Maybe if I turn all these devices back on... We could provoke an overload and free up the door. Okay, let's try it. Where do I begin? There are two tables with an experimental device on them. Follow the wall to the left of the door to find them. Okay, it's a real house of horrors in here. Okay, I'm turning on a kind of electric arc, but nothing's happening. Wait, keep going with the other devices. I hope at least this will be of some use. Keep on going after you get past the table, and you'll hit the corridor. Go through the passage, and head straight on down the corridor. The cell's corridor. Anyway, the light switch is at the very end of it. Alright, I don't really have much choice. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, I just lit a projector, but I didn't get any of the promised overload. Have some patience. I'd like to see you try it. The light switch is in the side room. Go back the other way and turn right at the intersection, then follow the corridor. Yeah, okay.
Jolene, you should see this. I don't even want to know what Alan... I just turned on some kind of laser beam. Okay, in theory, now's the time that something should happen. Nothing's happening. I'm gonna stay stuck here. That's it, it's working! Okay, take the door to your left and cross the laboratory to reach the exit. Thanks a lot. On my way. I've got two statues. And you? Same. I also have two statues. I went by Alan Morton's lab and I'm starting to get an idea of Lamb's goals. And what about your friend? Fisk? I don't think these scumbags even gave him a fighting chance. You mean the Morton brothers? No. I'm talking about Lamb and Johnson. Fisk probably never even set foot on this damn island. So what are you going to do? First of all, I'm going to get us out of here. It seems that if I keep going, I should be able to reach the cellars beneath the manor. When I was down there, I opened a trap that leads to the greenhouse. Okay, thanks. Lamb, is that you? Professor Morton, what a pleasure to hear from you. Don't overdo it. Did you receive the documents? Yes, and I wish to thank you for them. Say your brother's work has made great progress. His notes are extremely clear. I had the feeling I was reading a medical course for first-year students. However, I remain convinced that you could have sent me the contents of the writing tablet's translation a while back. You wouldn't have been trying my patience by any chance, would you? Stop it. You sound like Alan. You've no idea what is going on here. If I believe what is in your twin's notes, it must be close to hell, right? I sent you two of my best agents. Two agents will never stand a chance. What we need is the entire army. The army? The army? Don't get carried away now. You've managed perfectly well until now without my help. Right? You are a downright bastard. Come get me out of here right now. Mr. Morton, I do not think you understand me quite well. 
thanks to your brother and yourself, I have made great headway. For me, the great day is drawing near. As of now, you are of no more use to me. Lamb? Lamb! We have to. Quick! Alan is about to perform the ritual that opens the gate. I can feel it. But can't you do something to stop him? I am too old. I do not have... Hey, don't quit on us now. We still need you. What are we supposed to do? Recover the last statues and meet me in my people's sanctuary. That is where the gate is located. With some luck, we might get there before Alan does. Why did you keep on working for the Morton so long, without ever doing anything? Have you never said to yourself, the time has not yet come? Well, that is what I told myself for 50 years. But now I know that my time has come. What do you mean? If Miss Sedrak is here, it is because some men meant to be. You, you are here because a god meant you to be. Oh yes, I know. You came to Shadow Island for your friend. But think this over. You rushed here without even asking yourself any questions. To come here seemed self-evident. Fisk was nothing but the trigger, despite the deep friendship you had for him. How do you know all this? I too came here, Mr. Carnby. And since then, my dreams are like books in which the future is written. But not my future. Yours. Elaine? I met Edenshaw. We've got to find Alan. I know. Is that all he said? I have this funny feeling he knew all along that I'd come to him. I know this will sound strange, but I feel as though I'm linked to what's happening here. Kind of like deja vu? No, it's deeper than that, like shreds of some lost past. Me, it's my whole past that's in shreds. You? You've been speaking to Obed Morton. Yes. And he's not my father. But let's say I expected as much. Aline, you've lived your entire life not knowing who your father was. A few more months won't change anything. I swear, if we make it out of this alive, I'll handle your case. But let me say this. Meetings like that are usually a big disappointment.
Aline? Oh, I see we both reached the same point. We don't have much time, we gotta hurry. Or else our sacrifice will be useless. Well, now you're talking like a native. I feel like I've been entrusted with a mission. Yeah, welcome to the club. There's a stella with some inscriptions over there. I'd like to know what it says. Follow me. So, can you transcribe it? Wait. Yeah, I think I can. The gate is now before thee. The gate that holds the darkness back in the folds of the earth. Thou who are about to open it, thou must know that the night pushes the darkness back into these caves while the sun calls them out. Thus, if the gate is opened, whilst the orb of day casts its first light, the darkness will spill out across the world, paving the way for its creatures, who will then roam the surface of the earth, feeding off the blood of all the children of light. That doesn't sound good. You can say that again. I think these must be the seven gods of light. Yeah, and that guy in the middle, that's gotta be Hecaton Kiris, the god of gods. Hey, do you believe in that legend? Hey, do you believe in this island? Come on, let's hurry up. Thank <laughs> you.